In the book of Sirach, we hear of God's gift to us of free will. And I love this passage. He says this in, in, his, in his writings. He says, There are set before you fire and water, to whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, whichever you choose shall be given to him. You know, I often say to my kids at school or even my own children, I say, I say this, I say, your life can be a blessing or you can choose to have your life be a curse. So oftentimes we think that we get trapped in these, I don't know, modes of life or situations in life where we just don't seem to find the way out or we can't see a different way or a different path. But the truth of the matter is that God gives you the opportunity to turn your life around. And I mean, there are so many things that we get caught up in this world in, aren't there? And maybe we sometimes feel trapped in them. That's why it's important for us to remember the prophet Sirach and what he tells us, what God tells us through him, that our lives can be changed in the ways that we want them to be changed. And our lives can be a blessing to us and to others, or our lives can be a curse to ourselves and others. And God gives you that choice. It's not something that's predetermined. It's something that you have the power to change. And that's a really important message, I think, for us, no matter when, where we are and what stage of life we are at, that if you think you need to make a change, maybe that's God calling on you to make a change and telling you that he'll be there with you so that as you're making that change for good, that you're not making it on your own, that he's walking with you. God bless you. I hope everybody has a wonderful week, and we'll see you real soon.